Did you know that plants and animals have specific structures and functions that help them survive in their environment? From webbed feet to sharp claws, every part of an organism serves a purpose that enhances its chances of survival. Hi everyone, this is Miss Michelle, and today we're diving into the world of adaptations, unique features and behaviors that help plants and animals thrive in their environments. We'll be analyzing the structures and functions of different species to understand how they survive in the same habitats. An adaptation can be anything from a structural feature, like the shape of a leaf, to a specific behavior, like migration. Structures in both plants and animals can be internal, like the lungs of a mammal, or external, like the feathers of a bird. Each structure has a function, which is what it does, how it works, and how it helps the organism survive. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and grab your LVL Up workbook to record your answers and reflections as we go through today's lesson. Let's get started! Step 1. Understanding structures and function structures are the physical parts of an organism, like organisms, limbs, or specialized body parts that contribute to its survival. Each structure has a function, which refers to what the structure does and how it works within the organism. Examples of structures and their functions. Web feet, found in animals like ducks and frogs. Web feet help these creatures swim efficiently by increasing the surface area of their feet, allowing them to move faster in water. Hooves, animals like deer, horses, and goats have hooves that helps them run quickly and navigate rough terrain. This structure provides protection and stability, making it easier to escape predators. Feathers, feathers in birds, serve multiple functions, such as flying, staying warm, and attracting mates. They help birds maintain their body temperature in cold weather and enable flight, a key survival mechanism for many species. Interactive element one. Think of an animal you know, like a cat or a fish. What structures does it have that help it survive? Write down your observations in your LVL Up workbook and consider how each part of its body serves a specific function. This exercise will help you see the connection between structure and survival. Step two, inherited traits versus learned behaviors. Organisms have traits that are passed down from their parents, known as inherited traits, and behaviors that are learned from experience or from others. Inherited traits. These are the characteristics that an organism is born with. For example, a bird's ability to sing a particular song, a fish's streamlined body for swimming, or a bear's thick fur for insulation are all inherited traits. These traits are coded in the organism's DNA and passed down from one generation to the next. Learned behaviors. Unlike inherited traits, learned behaviors are acquired through interaction with the environment or other individuals. For example, a young lion learns how to hunt from watching its mother, or a dog learns to sit on command through training. These behaviors are crucial for survival especially when adapting to changes in the environment. Interactive element two. Draw a T-chart in your workbook with one side labeled inherited traits and the other labeled learned behaviors. List examples of each from the animal world. For instance, under inherited traits, you might write shark teeth and sharks. And under learned behaviors, a parrot learning to mimic sounds. This activity will help you understand the difference between what is passed down genetically and what is learned. Step three, external and internal structures in adaptation adaptations can involve both external structures like claws or beaks and internal structures like lungs or gills. External structures. These include visible features such as fins, scales, horns, and fur. For instance, the spines on a cactus protect it from herbivores, while the tiger stripes provide camouflage in the jungle. Internal structures. These are inside the body and often play critical roles in survival. For example, the hollow bones of birds make them lighter, aiding in flight and the powerful muscles of a cheetah's legs enable it to sprint at high speeds. Interactive element three. Pick an animal and think about its internal and external structures. How do these structures help the animal survive in its environment? Write down your thoughts. Focus on both visible features and internal functions that contribute to its success. Step four. Survival strategies. How different species thrive together in any given environment, multiple species often share the same space but use different strategies to survive. Let's look at how this works. Niches. A niche is a role or position an organism has within its environment, including how it gets its food, 
interacts with other organisms, and survives. For example, in a forest, different birds may live in the same area but eat different foods, nest in different places, and have different behaviors, reducing competition. Adaptation examples. Fish in a pond. In a single pond, you might find fish with sharp teeth that eat other fish, fish with flat teeth that grind plants, and bottom dwellers that eat algae. Each fish has adapted to a specific niche, allowing them to coexist. Desert plants. Cacti store water in their thick stems and have shallow roots to absorb rain quickly, while other desert plants may have long roots that reach deep underground to find water. These adaptations help different species survive side by side. Interactive element four. Think about a habitat like a rainforest or desert. Identify at least two different species and describe their unique adaptations that allow them to survive in the same environment. Use your workbook to jot down your answers, focusing on how each species uses different strategies to thrive. Step five, the role of natural selection and adaptation. Natural selection is the process by which organisms with advantageous traits are more likely to survive and reproduce. Over time, these traits become more common in the population. Example of natural selection. In a forest, rabbits with longer legs may be better at escaping predators. Over generations, these faster rabbits survive and pass their genes on to their offspring, leading to a population of faster rabbits. This is how natural selection shapes the evolution of a species. Interactive element five. Imagine an environment that suddenly changes, like a forest fire that clears an area of vegetation. What traits might help animals survive with this new environment? How might the species evolve over time? Write down your thoughts and consider how natural selection drives these changes. Challenge time! Let's test your knowledge with some rigorous questions about structures, functions, and adaptations. Part A. Questions Part 1. How do web feet help animals like ducks and frogs survive in aquatic environments? Select two correct answers. A. They increase surface area for swimming. B. They help animals dig in the sand. C. They reduce water resistance when swimming. D. They allow animals to run faster on land. Quick tip. Think about how web feet interact with water. How do these features enhance swimming and movement in aquatic environments? Question, part two. Based on your understanding from part one, why are web feet considered an adaptation? Select two correct answers. A. They allow animals to escape predators in water. B. They make animals look more attractive to mates. C. They help animals capture food in water. D. They provide balance when climbing trees. Quick tip. Reflect on how web feet improve survival in water-related activities, such as escaping predators or finding food. Part B. Question part one. Which of the following best describes the difference between an inherited trait and a learned behavior? Select two correct answers. A. Inherited traits are passed down genetically, while learned behaviors are acquired through experience. B. Inherited traits change frequently based on environment, while learned behaviors do not. C. Inherited traits include physical features, while learned behaviors include skills. D. Learned behaviors are passed down from parents just like inherited traits. Quick tip, consider how these traits are acquired. Are they inherited from parents or do they require practice and learning? Question part two. Based on your understanding from part one, how do both inherited traits and learned behaviors contribute to an organism's survival? Select two correct answers. A, inherited traits provide physical adaptations while learned behaviors offer flexibility and actions. B, both contribute to survival by enhancing an organism's ability to adapt to its environment. C. Inherited traits help organisms learn faster. D. Learned behaviors reduce genetic diversity. Quick tip. Think about how physical features and acquired skills work together to improve survival and adaptability. Conclusion. Today we explored how the structures and functions of different species help them survive in the same environment. From external features like hooves and feathers to internal systems like lungs and hearts, every structure plays a role in an organism's ability to thrive. We also learned about the difference between inherited traits and learned behaviors, and how natural selection shapes the evolution of species. Let's recap what we've learned. Structures and functions, physical features of plants and animals help them survive in their environments. Inherited traits and learned behaviors. 
Some characteristics are passed down genetically while others are learned through experience. Mutations and survival strategies. Organisms adapt to their niches, allowing them to live together without excessive competition. Natural selection. This process drives the evolution of species, helping them become better suited to their environments over time. Keep exploring, stay curious, and remember that every animal, plant, and microorganism is perfectly adapted to its unique environment. Don't forget to jot down your reflections in your LVL Up workbook and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for joining me on 3D Questions from Steam Spirations. If you enjoyed this exploration, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an adventure. See you in the next episode, Earth Science Explorers.